Hi there creators. Today we're going to be looking at iClone and this can be done with iClone 7, the current version, or iClone 6. Uh, I don't have any versions before 6 so um, you're a little bit on your own but I think it, it should work. And so what I'm going to do is kind of go over the process for creating a, a transparent background for animations and for other features that you can use to export that video and, and use that in other ways in your project. So here I have a simple animation. I'll just play that through real quick here. So you can see what we're going to be exporting. And it's just a, a little character and he's got some pop-up um, little signs that have some communication. So pretty simple. And so the important things when you're doing exporting transparency is uh, the background and also shadows and we're going to talk about both of those first of all you can see in my project here I do not have any backgrounds I don't have any objects beyond the actual avatar and other than a couple of those dialog boxes and so um, some of the things that that are important is if you do have backgrounds you need to turn those off uh, just use the show, just turn those off. Uh, for the sky, you want to hide that so you don't want to show that in the background either. You want to have all your lights off so um, the, the visuals off, you want to have the light sources on, but the light lights themselves, you don't want those to be visualized. And then when it comes to the, uh, the actual character, you have some options. Obviously, if you click on uh, the avatar here, um, and you go into the, the settings for that. If you scroll down here, there's um, a, a little box under display. And so there, there's some options for shadow and we can show all the shadows. And, and so that's gonna pick up shadow on the character. And as you can see kind of down the corner here, it also added a shadow to the ground there. So, um, that's not really what you want it to get out of your product. Uh, you can do that if you want to make a really complex uh, scene where you have a ground line and you're going to lay that, that transparent video output onto that ground. You're going to show the shadow on the ground. That gets very complex. Uh, you can give that a try if you want. I've done that before, but it does take a little more time. Also, in this scene, you can see I had some dialogue boxes and... If we kind of forward to one of those boxes here, uh, there's also shadows involved there. And so the same location here, if we turn those on, you're going to see a shadow appear on the ground. You could see it on your character as well. So my advice is just turn all those shadows to off. You can also do them right here. Uh, you can pull this down and you can you have the same options here. So you can say no shadows or you can check what status you're on by hovering over and it will tell you no shadows, no shadows, all shadows. Uh, that's just the shadow catcher. So um, that's not needed for, the, for this case, but um, that has some other applications beyond this video. And so once you get everything set, no backgrounds, shadows off, uh, it's just real simple. You go in here to render and you're going to render the video not render image and so when you select this render there's an option for format you can do a video or image we want the image and and you can use png um, there's some other options but for transparent output you're going to want png and you can select just the current frame or the entire sequence and so i are, have already set up the the basically the zone of what I want to output here and so I have the sequence here you can use a frame rate um, you know animation you're, you're typically looking at like a 15 or 20 frames per second or you can go with full motion which is 30 frames a second or higher if you wish if you're doing slow motion or something like that uh, so I'm going to output this to 1080p and I don't have any sound, so I'm not going to touch those. Uh, this is your render quality. I'm doing a final render, render and I'm, this is a pretty flat image, so 
I'm not going to go crazy on super sampling. It doesn't, this machine's pretty fast, so it really wouldn't take much more time. Uh, so <clears throat> I'll do that just so you can see, but there, there's some options here for high or medium resolution sampling. And we're doing 600 frames for this, and we just hit export. And we're going to choose our location, and I'm just going to put it in the same directory uh, folder that my images are located in that's okay and I'm gonna hit test and save and then it's gonna go through and basically export those give it a second here <clears throat> and I'm going to fast forward so you don't watch all 300 of those images being rendered and I'll be right back and we're back Okay, so normally when the, uh, the video is, is rendered, it gives you an option to open that video immediately. Uh, in this case, the, the folder where you place that, the, uh, the files actually opens, so you can take a look at them. And, and I kind of made a mistake. I had already ran this uh, image sequence into images, and so you probably saw all those files were already in there. I call these tests, so um, I suggest just making a new new folder so you can kind of keep everything organized. But you can see here, starting at test 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001, uh, it's it's set up for a, a very long image sequence. Obviously, you're there with all those numerals, and so it's going to go down to 300. And so. Uh, iClone does not make actual video from, from these sequences or cannot directly make transparent background videos currently. Um, so to, to do that, you're going to need a separate program. And obviously, most people probably use Adobe After Effects. Um, there is a free program that will do it that's really awesome. Uh, the folks at Blackmagic in Australia, uh, I've got one of the really great uh, pocket cinema cameras, but they produce a free program called DaVinci Resolve. Check that out. And DaVinci Resolve will easily import the image sequence and create a, a, a simple video with transparent background. And actually, by luck, I have created another video to show you how to do that. If you check out my channel, uh, you can take a look at that video and, and download that free program and off you go. You can get all, everything done that you need to get done. So thanks for joining me today and appreciate it and look forward to making some more videos for iClone and hopefully DaVinci and some other products that, that I'm working on. Thank you.